COVID-19 case numbers continue to decline, those still struggling to breathe has remained high. And if a ventilator is necessary, the largest analysis of hospitalized patients today shows most did not survive. Ursula Perry now with a device that helped the man who played Superman breathe decades ago, working to get COVID patients off these machines and breathing on their own. Behind these doors in this operating room, University Hospital's Raymond Anders was the first surgeon in the U.S. to implant a device called the Transera system to help struggling COVID patients breathe on their own again. What we know is when you're on a ventilator, your diaphragm muscle will atrophy faster than any other muscles. Within 24 hours, you lose 50% of your diaphragm muscle mass. To keep muscles from atrophying, electrodes are implanted into the muscle near the phrenic nerve, which controls the diaphragm. A small battery-powered external pulse generator stimulates the electrodes, and that causes the diaphragm to contract. Dr. Anders had used the diaphragmatic pacing device on Christopher Reeve after a tragic horseback riding accident left the Superman actor paralyzed from the neck down. Now, in less than 48 hours after implanting the device, some ICU patients are breathing on their own too. It's kind of like aggressive physical therapy for that diaphragm so that once your acute injury is over, we can now get you off the ventilator faster. The FDA granted Dr. Anders emergency use authorization during the height of the pandemic for COVID patients, but he's also been authorized to use it on high-risk cardiac surgery patients, spinal cord injury patients, as well as those suffering from ALS. Ursula Perry, KSAT 12 News.